Hi, this is Mark from Spectre Web Designs, and I'm now going to um, do a short video, or shortish video, on how to add a product to your store. So once you've signed in, and um, you go down the left-hand side to WooCommerce, underneath is products. If you click on all products, you get a list of what's in your shop. And I'll show you now. We've got just a few things in ours. Um, and I'm going to show you how to add paintbrushes. Now I've got this in, so I'm just going to talk you through it and add a few bits. So put a new product on, you would click add new and it takes you to a complete blank page to fill in. Um, sometimes it's easier just to clone one you've already got, like duplicate, because then you can see what areas if I've put a couple on for, you can see what areas I've already done because they'll already be filled in. You just need to change. But we'll go on for a new, um, <clears throat> uh, an update on what's already there. So you want to go in for an update. So say you want to update the paintbrushes. So you can go into it and there's paint. Oh, um, and there would be your description fields there and all the governs. And you can come in and change. And then when you're done, you click save. Um, I'm going to actually update paintbrushes first and then I'll show you when you duplicate to make it quicker for the next time a couple of things you have to think about so let's you click new and then we'll put one on I'm going to click this and talk you through it so this is the screen which you quickly whizzed through and saw. I just quickly went onto it and then came off because I thought I need to add some information. So you put your title up the top here. If you work around, if I just explain the page, you've got this area going down. It looks an awful lot, but you don't fill it all in. You don't need to fill everything in. Um, the main important thing is, is this bit here, which is the title. When you write that, it creates this permalink underneath, which is your website address for the page. All right, now when you duplicate a page, this is what we need to talk about because you just have to change that. So anyway, we are adding new. So um, I've just opened a page I've already got just to make it a little bit simpler. Um, I'm going to add some things, but I just wanted to give us a start. So we've got paintbrushes written there. Um, we're going to add a description. And we're going to add our price and then we're going to look at uh, inventory so you can always have it that it's in stock or you can manage the stock so if you're counting down your stock you'd put in your st stock quantity and everything else um, <clears throat> this is a very basic setup for a product because I'm, i know most of my customers either have in stock um, or use in stock and go from there um, a simple product is you're having a product to sell a virtual is online and one is something you would download so you just click those if I have customers that have downloadable or virtual things then I'll create a separate video for that and uh, and then shipping this is where you would add some details here like weight which I shall go into in a minute so we come onto here, we put a title in, just look down this side of the screen, we add a description. Now, there's two descriptions. There's product short description. This is the description that would sit to the right of the item. So, we are looking at a uh, full description. Now, what I've done, I've just pulled up a shop so I can nick their description. So the full description, I say, let's take this. We're just going to nobble this. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste. You would have this either right, you've done write it out yourself, or um, you would probably have something on Word that you might copy and paste into that. So anyway, I'm going to put that description there. And I'm, I do the descriptions together. So I go down to the short one so I don't forget it. Now on this one, this is the one that will either be to the right of it on say a PC, to the right or left of your main image of your product. And it doesn't need to be very large, just a paragraph or just a few bullet points. Because your main description sits underneath 
of and, and, and to be honest, on tablet, the description the description we're talking about and mobiles, even the just short description will be underneath because of just the way it flows down the page. But you'll see when you've put it on and you'll see what I mean. So this one, I'm just gonna add short description. You could just put oh paintbrushes used, uh, great quality, whatever, blah 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 blah, short paragraph. For the process of this, I'm gonna nick a couple of these. Put some bullet points in there for something different, copy. And where am I? Edit product, got too many things open, and I'm gonna copy and paste into here. So we've got that. Now, if we go into the general, this is where we put a price. I'll put five pounds for my paintbrushes. If, um, if you're looking to uh, have a sale item, so say it was five pounds and you're gonna sell it for three, just write it in there. It automatically will fade out that price and put the sale price in and you can add a schedule for how long you have your sale for. So you can click on that and do that. Um, <clears throat> inventory, we're just going to have it in stock. Um, shipping. Now, I'm going to ship this, so I need to put a weight in. So I'm going to put um, this in kilograms, so I'm going to put 0.5 of a kilogram. And when we set up our shipping classes, if you've got a shipping class that works on weight, this is where you put it. So let's look at the right-hand side. This is our update button we'll come to later. We come down to product categories. If this was a new product, this wouldn't be clicked. So I know it's paint brushes, so I click category, uh, the category brushes. If you want to add a new one, you can do it from here. I've done a video on how to add a category and I suggest you do that because you can add the picture. Um, but if for speed you want to just add the category now, you could create a new one just by clicking here and just add, um, I don't know, clay. Let's just put clay and add new category. And that sits at the top and it will automatically be ticked. But I'm gonna take that out because I don't want that under clay. I just wanted to show you how to do it. And then we do brushes. Um, I, use, I tick these down here because I've got my website set up a different way and I don't use, I, I create my headers, etc. So you can take that. I leave disable breadcrumb. All the other ones are ticked. Now the product image is the important thing. So when you get to this, it will be blank. It will just say product image. Or if you had one there because you've duplicated for ease, you just duplicated, um, the product before and you're just changing the areas that have already been completed um, you'll just have to remove it like I did just then so you select product it takes you to the media gallery there's my paint brushes plonk them in if you wanted to have a couple of others so say you've got you want to um, to me to do that let's put that back in have a little um, choice of three or four pictures you can add them under here like a little gallery. So let's just add, um, we'll just think that one and we'll have that one. So I'm gonna put, to select two at the same time, if you hold your control, the CTRL button on your keyboard, and then you can click add to gallery, they sit down there like that. Now this bit here is the last bit. This is a bit of SEO, okay? This rank math SEO, it's worth doing. So say our product title, paintbrushes, it would look for paintbrushes to be at the start of the write-up. Scores you higher. You don't need to do this, this is just a suggestion. And where the picture is, click on that and you write it here in the alt text. So there's a little bit of SEO lesson here. Set that. And we're going to focus, our keyword is going to be called paintbrushes. It can be a keyword of your choice, but that's what we're going to, let me press return. This is a score. This is a score. Now we're sitting in amber, which is quite good. You want to get it out of the red, really. 
we haven't got a lot of options for setting up SEO. We do as much as we can. It likes a lot of words. I mean, SEO likes two or 300 words and you can drop your paintbrushes title in there a few times and that would raise the score. Now, this is a little bit of a, this isn't a lesson in SEO, but it just gives you little things that you can maybe think of. So if you clicked on there, oh, look, I could do such and such. Keyword not found in subheading. And that has to, you know, and when I'm doing web pages, they're the sort of things I look at. But the last thing to consider is this snippet. Now, this is the bit that appears in a Google searches. Can you see it? Paintbrushes, setup advice. That's the name of this website. You can take that out, um, but that would be your website name. You could remove it and just type something else. Um, so setup advice, we could take that out and do paintbrushes um, for artists in Norfolk and Suffolk. Mustn't go over that 60. So that's pretty cool. You can see what it says there now. So we're actually saying to the SEO paintbrushes, artists, some artists might put artist brushes, so they'll trigger Norfolk and Suffolk. So someone might put, oh, I need up paintbrushes near me. Let's just put artists, brushes, stuff, Suffolk. Stands a good chance of coming in. And under this description, you've got up to 160. Again, this isn't a lesson in, you know, SEO, but the first thing should be the same as your keyword. Whatever your keyword decides to be, just make sure it flows. Paintbrushes. And this is a paragraph. So think about how you want to do it. I would put, you know, visit our shop in, in blah, blah, blah for a wide selection of paintbrushes and artist materials. You could write that after there. OK. So when you've done all of that, um, you can click on this to come out. And you can see we're actually doing quite well at 67. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Gives us a chance of featuring on a Google search. Very basic little bit of SEO in there and then what we mustn't do is forget to update. Now there is a way of adding options to your product that will be another video. So this is it. So if we view the product let's see what it looks like. I haven't actually set the product page up yet but you can see as it state, is here at the minute, this isn't a page that I've overly set up as yet, but you can see I've got paintbrushes. Um, I've got a little breadcrumb thing where I can go backwards and forwards, especially if you've got a lot of stuff in your shop that helps people's user experience. You can see, look, there's my little short description. There's my gallery with the other items that I've put in. Um, We've got our add to cart button there. We've got the category we picked, which is brushes. But there's our description. Yeah. So we put we put our weight of uh, in there, didn't we? That features under additional information. Great. So there we are. And on these pages, if we've got it set up, people can leave a review. And that we, all the reviews would sit down here and they can put the stars on there. Once someone's left a review, the stars will actually appear up here as well. I mean, these can be removed, uh, and if I have removed them while setting up your shop, and then obviously if you need some of these things, put in I can, or if I haven't been removed and you're looking at this thinking, yeah, I want them removed, just let me know. Um, you remember we put this as a sale item, so we've got the sale banner there. This can all be changed, colours. Hopefully I'd have set this up for you by now, but you can see the line's gone through it, and we've got a £3, so it's on sale. So that is how you do it. Now, let me just quickly take you before I finish. So we go to, let's go to all products. Now I was saying how you could do it to be quicker. Now you know that's been done. So you're thinking, oh, rather than work out all them bits I need to do. Um, apologies, let me just stop that. Um, my phone is ringing, that's always great. I should have turned that off. Um, so we would go on to paint brushes. So let's just hit duplicate. So we're just going to pick one. We're going to start up um, a new page. So we're going to add another product. Now what we can see 
is this says copy because we've recreated it. So if we say we're going to do red paint brushes, actually, hang on. And this is where we have to be careful because this is this is now isn't right. We need to edit this. So we need to make this red paint brushes. Sorry about that. See if I was more professional, you wouldn't get it. That's what's called a slug. That is quite important. Again, for your SEO, it should really say your keyword or say something about the page. So we would then be looking um, to change a few things on the page. You would put in your fresh text in there. You remember this is a description underneath. So much easier when you can see what's been done. You can think, oh yeah, regular price or well, red paint brushes are seven pounds and it's not on sale. So I'll take the price out. Um, the shipping, the weight of it is, is gonna be a little less. So we bring that down. The short description, we can we can remove there. We, we, we've just added, you know, you've added your further description. You might write another paragraph in there, of course you will, because it's it's a different object. And um, and then once we put the description in, we'll then look on the right hand side. We go down. Yeah, brushes is still the same. Brilliant. Um, all these are already ticked because we're cop we've just copied something. So say this was uh, we need to change the picture. So we'll pick uh, we'll pick this one, and we will call. Do you remember we need to call it our keywords, which is red paint brushes. That's what I've chosen. Your keyword can be anything, but it has to be relevant and it has to be used in key places like you're seeing now. All right. So we'll leave them other pictures there. You would have changed them, but I'm going to leave them there. If you don't want, I'll tell you what, I'll take them off so you can see what it's like without a gallery. So we just leave it like that. You don't have to have a gallery. And as we go round in our round robin, we... This is still yellow because it's using the word paintbrushes, which is part of my thing. So we want red paint brushes. Click return. And then we're going to edit our snippet. Do you see this is the title of our page? So our little snippet there is already being made from that. So we just edit it. Our permalink, which we changed at the top, which I said was important to change, is sitting there, right? We've got this red paint brushes for artists in Norfolk and Suffolk, and we'll just change this in the description. It's very important that the first thing written here is your keyword, just to get a little bit more on the score. Okay, so this is again, you know, not high scores, but but if you featured your keyword a little bit more in the right up here, it would obviously bump your score up a little bit. So when this is done, we click. With Oh, you got the wrong one. Publish. So that's how to quickly put one on by hit and duplicate. You can see you can do it a lot quicker because you can see where you've been. And I and this is what I normally do, but I have to teach you both ways. Okay, so we'll view product. Um, wait for it to load. So this one's a little different. We've got our picture here. The reason why it always sits in your picture will always sit. Related products is the other one we made. So related products, we've it's a little thing here. It's a little, uh, little just to push other selling things. I usually like to leave a little related products thing. If we had four items in our paintbrushes category, they would be probably three or four sitting along the bottom here just to give people other options. You don't want them coming off the website and not buying anything. So this one's a little different. You can see it's red paint brushes. Our price is seven pound. It's no longer in a sale. Um, picture there, great, we can zoom in. And all our additional information is there. It's all updated. But some might think, oh, I want this. Let me click on that and have a look. And then they're looking at this one. I think, yeah, I like that more, so I'm gonna buy it. So you can see how it all adds up and, and, uh, and, and how it looks. Um, any problems, just give me a call.